Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so, so excited to share this update with you. So this is going to be an update for Cricut Design Space app. This is going to be version 5.6 and this is for all of the iPhone users and the iPad users. They do plan to release this update for Android, but that's coming down in the pathway, not quite there yet. So again, this is for using offset in the app location for Design Space version 5.6. Now, if you don't have it yet, don't panic. On my iPhone, I went to find it to see if I was updated. I was not updated yet, so I went to the App Store, typed in Cricut Design Space, and then I had an option to hit update, and it updated, and it went perfectly smooth, and now I can use the offset function. Now, my iPad, I went to the App Store and I found it, but there was no update showing. So I logged out, logged back in, same thing. So what I did was just delete my Cricut Design Space app from my iPad. Then I went right back to the App Store. And when I went to download it, this time when I searched for it, it showed the new version of 5.6. And so I just downloaded it, used my same login, and now I have it on my iPad. So I plan to show you this tutorial. It's really quick and easy on the iPad. Um, please take into account that I use my desktop computer 99.9% .9 of the time. So if I fumble a little bit on the iPad tutorial, <laughs> please bear with me. All right. So you can see I have an image on my iPad desktop and let me just move my mouse since I'm using my iPad. Okay, get it out of the way. All right. So if I, if you want to see the offset option, you have to first select an image. So I put an image there. I'm going to select it. And now to find offset, you want to click on edit. Offset is right about in the middle of your tools there. So if I click offset, it automatically puts an offset there. You'll see the slider, you can move it all the way to the right to make your offset bigger, or you can make it smaller. It might take a moment, and then you can just kind of play with it. Pick what you want. If you want to inset, you would go to the left. So this would put your lines on the inside of your image or text, whatever you're offsetting or insetting. So I'm just going to make it, well, let's make it kind of obvious so you can have a good option to see it. So I'll make it just like that. Now, you also have the option for corner or if you want a more abrupt, sharp corner. I'm gonna keep it on the rounded because I think it matches my image well. And then you have weld offsets. Now, if I don't select weld offsets, then let me just show you what it does. I'm gonna hit done. And then if I separate it like this and then click off and then separate it here, these will not stay together because I didn't weld the offsets. Okay, so let's go back. Let me undo that. And sometimes that would come in handy. You might want that effect. You might want to just offset the tulip flower heads, but not the stem. So I'm glad that we do have that option. So let me go back to edit and then offset. There we go. I'm going to keep the same offset, only this time I'm going to click on Weld Offsets, then hit Done. And now I have my welded offset. You can see now that I have that solid image. If I wanted to change the color of that, I would just click on Basic Cut Operation, and I could change my offset to a pretty yellow. Hit Apply. And there is my offset. Okay, I'm not going to worry about centering things right now. Okay, so there is the offset feature. It's awesome. Now let me just go ahead and highlight both and move them over. Now what about text? You can offset text. So let me just pick, um, let me do like a, like a sand. Let's just do, let's just do a simple cricket sounds. Okay, so let me do sunshine. And then same thing, you wanna to go to your edit. And then this time, the offset is still right about in the middle. Sorry, once I selected it, now it's off to the right. So instead of the middle, 
it's over to the right just a little bit. There we go. There's our offset. Make it about like that. Okay, I want to show you this because this is, see how that funny little line inside of the S? I want to show you an option how to use contour so you can get rid of that little bumpy mark in there. Say you like the offset the way it is, but you don't like that part on the upper part of the S. So I'm going to go ahead and click Done. And then I'm going to change the color just so you can see it better. Okay, so if I separate these two, see how I have that? Let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. I have that line inside of the S. So if I just click on Contour, okay, so it's under Actions, click on Contour, and then I can just tap inside there and then tap off of it, and now I've, I've fixed that, okay? So that part works out good. Now I would have to resize this to fit, but you can see how you can get it to work. Okay, I'm not going to worry about lining everything up. So I wanted to show you that. And then there's one more other fun thing. Let's just say, let me get rid of this. I don't really need this part here. Okay, let's say that I wanted to forward this image project to, say, my mom. And I wanted to let her know what I used for this project. So what I'm going to refer to now is what's called guides. Okay, so this is really cool. So you just add a shape and let's just go with the circle. And I'm going to make this about, let's just make it an even 12. Perfect. Okay, you know those circle signs that they have? I want to turn this into a guide to see how well this tulip fits in there. And then I'll also leave my, uh, my mom a message on the design space. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a minute. Okay, so I've got my circle. This is the size that I want. I'm going to go ahead and tap on it. And then I'm going to click on operation. I'm going to go up top where it says basic cut and hit the drop down menu. And I'm going to change it to guide. Then I'm going to hit apply. So now I have a round guide. And what this does is helps me size my image, you know, whichever image I'm using. I'm going to select both here so they come together. And I can put this in here. And then maybe I just want to have it off to the side. This is just an example. And then maybe I just want to add some words. I'm not going to worry about adding the words right now. But this lets you know, you know, can I make my tulip this size and how is it going to look? So look at it as kind of like a template. OK, and it doesn't follow you to cut it out. It's just for you to use and help you insisting in creating your design. Now, let's say I wanted to leave my mom a note. So I'm just going to click on text and I'm going to click on any text here and I am going to. Let's see. I'm going to type in. Um, <laughs> hi, <laughs> right? So my mom, of course, I'd say hi, but never mind. <laughs> I'm going to type in um, that I used red permanent vinyl. And let's just say that's what I wanted to let her know. OK, so I'm going to select the text. And then I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to basic cut and I'm going to go to guide. I'm going to hit apply. And so now it knows that this is not to cut out. It's just going to stay on my on my canvas here so that if I forward this project or even if I want to note a note for myself, I can leave myself a note on here. So let's click on make it and see what follows us onto our design space virtual mat. OK, so right here, I'm going to tap on mat and next. And there you go. The only thing it's going to cut out is my offset and then my actual design. So there you have it. It's great. Remember, you can use guides as leaving yourself notes. These are just ideas or suggestions that I came up with. And you can also use them to size an image and see what it will look like 
if you had say a 12 inch wood round, which are quite popular nowadays. And then of course, enjoy the offset. I know everybody's really been wanting that offset feature and it has recently been released. I believe it was yesterday. So enjoy, let me know below if you have any, any questions. And then also I'll link below a description of a video that I did that shows different things you can do using offset. So I did it from a desktop computer, but you, it'll just help give you some ideas and get them juices flowing. All right, take care and remember to create with love. Bye.